made and then the theaters are closed. But I think if uh, we had our choice earlier today, we would be inside the theater with that yes, weather we absolutely. had out there. This weather, it was raining, pouring down. Thankfully, I was inside, Kevin. Yeah, you know, I enjoy the movies too. Netflix, all the good shows <laughs> we've been watching. But I've been wondering, where's the content going to come from before yeah, long? You can't right? get another Tiger yes. King, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. I never subscribed to it. Never did it to myself. Was it Carol Baskins? No one knows. We'll have to see here. Let's talk about the forecast and talk about what's happening outside right now. The good news is that you you know what? For those of you that have been stuck inside, the weekend looks nice. It looks like a perfect weekend to get outdoors. And even this evening, we are seeing conditions improve across the area because, hey, have a look at the radar right now. You can see the bulk of the reds and yellows, the oranges, the heavy stuff we like to refer to it as is all pretty much shifting its way off towards the south and east away from the metro. So around the 275 loop, we are drying out, and I think this is a trend that continues through the better part of the evening. Now the back edge of the rainfall downstream of the Ohio River here from New Richmond to Peach Grove, anywhere from Moscow to Foster over towards Felicity and Bethel. You're still getting rain in the southeastern part of Claremont County. Gets a little heavier over towards Amersville and Georgetown. You still may hear a crack of thunder or two, but by far and away the heaviest stuff is over here in Adams County right over you in Blue Creek. Boy, is it pouring at the moment? Lots of lightning there, so you'll want to stay indoors for at least the next 30, 40 minutes. The good news is that even here too, no severe weather and a lot of this activity going to be moving out here in short order. So you can see the heaviest stuff that's pushed out of Peebles and West Union right on top of you there in the Blue Creek community. Now there are more showers and storms back down in the Louisville direction. There's a little disturbance helping to kick these off. However, I want you to note this stuff's not really moving very much. And given the fact that we've already rained on our atmosphere across the tri-state, this may scoot into parts of southeast Indiana and areas west of Interstate 71 close to the Ohio River. But I think we're really drying out from this point forward through the night. I'm going to keep the chance in there at least of a few more downpours because the actual cold front itself is still way back up here in Iowa tonight in Iowa and Nebraska can't take the rain chances out until the front comes through and that won't happen until tomorrow night. But with that said, overall drier this evening stays muggy. Keep the chance in there for a few downpours, but far from a washout. So outside right now, skies are starting to brighten some 75 degrees at the airport. They're obviously still reporting a light shower there. Look at that dew point in the mid 60s. So yeah, it's pretty sticky out. Around the region, as cool as 69 in Blue Creek, as warm as the low to mid 80s in southeast Indiana where the sun has popped back out. And that's why I'm going to keep the chance in there at least for a few more downpours. Watch Futurecast. I think this is a little overdone this evening in respects to the coverage of the rainfall. We'll keep a couple of downpours in there. Overall, we're drying out. There still may be a lingering downpour somewhere in the area tomorrow morning. During the afternoon, there could be a few pop ups, but notice not a lot of action looks good for tomorrow evening, although it's going to be warm. And then finally, we start to get the drier, less humid air in here by the time you wake up on Saturday morning. So a downpour is possible tonight, but overall drier and mostly cloudy 65 and then for tomorrow warm sunshine chance in there for a stray downpour 86 for an afternoon high. Again, there could be a stray downpour at any point tomorrow, but a lot more of us are going to stay dry. I don't see a lot of rain. Here's your seven day forecast. Beautiful weekend weather, a little warm on Saturday, a smidge cooler on Sunday, but plenty of time to enjoy some early summer weather this weekend. I see a 91 in there. You're going to hang in there, Mike? Uh, <laughs> in front of the fan and the AC.